Good morning, Zio here, and I have friends. Introduce yourselves, plebs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm I'm Nathan Zivu Gaming. I'm an old hobo named D Pat Chad. <laughs> <laughs> there for a second, I wasn't sure if you were even going to respond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, off to a great start <laughs> off to a great start anyway today we are going to be taking a look at all the alternative sites or a good chunk of them anyway uh taking a look at them gonna go look through all this other stuff instead of just telling you to go to bit shoot or go to gab or go to mines or something like that we're going to actually show you what it looks like take a gander and then you can decide which one is best for you and with that grab yourself some coffee sit back relax and let's get into it And we're going straight into it. There's no intro. It's already played. You just don't know it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, after all, Nathan joined them all. <laughs> uh, luckily here, Nathan has got everything everywhere that exists. So we have links conveniently in one location down below, by the way, in the description. If you want to go and find these links yourself, you can go follow him. It is his multi-link. What is it called again? Uh, tap my bio. Tap my bio. All my links right here. You can see it on the screen. The tap my bio. You can find links to all the social medias down there and you can pick which one you like and take a look. So, uh, which one are we doing first? Uh, I'd say probably BitChute's probably the best place to start. We'll just start at the top of the list and work our way down. All right. BitChute. What is BitChute exactly? Anybody? <laughs> um,. Sure, I'll, I'll grab that one. So yeah, BitChute is sort of the, uh, I would say, probably the most uh, viable YouTube alternative. Um, it's probably, of the list that we're going through, it's certainly the, uh, it's certainly the oldest. It has, it has the most uh, amount of time on compared to the others. And um, it's really grown a, 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 a huge base at this point. And like, it, it, people are starting to notice a bit more. Like, it's, it's just kind of edging towards mainstream in a way in terms of its numbers like it's got really good numbers um and i'm even noticing that directly even just through my engagement my my view counts my likes my subscriber count like it's um basically in every way fathomable i'm noticing that my video channel is more successful than my youtube channel could ever hope to be and um, you know it's it's great, especially if you're especially if you're a content uh, like a content creator who's just starting out. Um, the, you're you're so much better off starting out at a place like BitChute than you would be with YouTube. With YouTube, the, yeah. uh, the algorithm is just against you. Here, I, it's not. Actually, I have a story about that. Yeah. Um. So I did YouTube for a while. Uh. Don't judge. <laughs> You've been <laughs> and... judged. Uh, me and a guy I went to high school with named, uh, Victor were doing like a, uh, kind of duo, kind of like a bro thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we were doing Let's Plays and we could not hit even like 20 views on YouTube. Yeah. Like, no matter what. Yeah, that's my, been my experience too. My like first video, first couple of videos after two days was getting 20 30 views mm -hmm. on bit shoot and i was like oh okay wow and i didn't yeah. expect it because bit shoot was new it wasn't even like popular or like at where it's at now it was yeah fairly new and yeah now it, it's definitely viable for entertainment and not just the political sphere Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like, if you go to the homepage without being signed in, yeah, you, you might see, you know, quite a bit of politics when you first, uh, first I mean, go you there. You can just hit popular here and find it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't let that scare you away. I mean, especially like <laughs> if, if y'all remember the early days of YouTube, uh, yikes, <laughs> that's all I'll say about that. So, uh, you know, if we're, if we're going to, compare apples to apples there you know don't let that scare you away uh by all means um you know look for the kind of content that you want to see i mean if you click on the little uh 
little hamburger menu, the little th- uh, three lines in the upper right, right corner, sorry, upper left corner, you know, it's got all the categories there. So if you want to see, you know, yeah, you we can't see, see it on camera, but <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like if you want to see gaming or entertainment or vlogs or whatever it is, you can't, you can find it there. You can't, it, you can find it all filtered in. So yeah, it's, uh, no, it's, it's a, it's a great site. I, I, I have, Lots of uh, entertaining comments on my uh, entertaining content on my uh, on my sub feed. Yeah, definitely. If uh, you're looking for a YouTube alternative, this is probably the one I would definitely recommend. Uh, with BitChute, does have a few things you can't live stream yet. Um, yet. Also, HD <laughs> isn't really a thing on it. Everything's kind of in that lower quality still, isn't it? Yeah. Does anybody know Although that? that- that is supposed to be coming. That is supposed to be coming relatively soon. I don't think we have a specific timeline on it, but it is coming down the pipeline. Um, the resolution is actually slightly better than when I first started my account three years ago. It's uh, um, it's somewhere between four hundred and eighty and seven hundred and twenty. I'm not sure exactly what the resolution is now, but it's it's uh, a bit better. Okay, so. Uh... The resolution did get improved once. Uh, they're working on a second upgrade to it, and they have a team, from what I've heard, working on the uh, live streaming platform, as well as uh, something that uh, I did want to touch on, because uh, this is a uh, when I talk to other content creators that are kind of on the fence about BitChute, mm-hmm. they're like, "Well, I can't monetize on BitChute. You can't really monetize on YouTube anymore either. So let's not." Yeah, yeah, exactly. When it comes to monetization, uh, it, it's pretty much like uh, that ship has sailed. Merch and uh, subscribe star and Patreon and and yeah. PayPal and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, as yeah, for donations. ad revenue, it really isn't much of anything unless you have premium ads and you're a YouTube golden boy or girl. That's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah, that's exactly right. And and those will dry up. They, they, you know, when when those particular YouTubers are, you know, retired or they move on or whatever, they, there isn't going to be any of that left. If you're just starting out, if you're a new YouTuber now, forget it. You're not getting ad revenue. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Well, you you heard about the big thing about the um, the girl with the uh, snake and the, the the van girl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Sorry. was the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the the girl that was in the that lived in the van and had the snake and was doing like the live blog. blog oh yeah, what account. happened to her? Wasn't she like? Well, I guess propped up by YouTube was, for a good month yeah. or two. Well, there was a controversy that she was actually being groomed to be the next golden child by YouTube. Oh, so YouTube isn't just picking people; they are producing content creators. No oh way. yeah, I mean that's no how she way. only had like one video and the thing had millions of views. Then two yep. videos and millions of views. They stuck her on trending. They pushed her out to everybody and said, "Hey, you should check out this." So you got a notification to go check them out. Oh, yep. Um, so but yeah, they there, they do that. Literally, no way from beginning to finish. All right, that's we're gonna insane. have to move on from the bit shoot. <laughs> We did eight minutes talking about bit shoot, and we have a lot of things to look at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, um, we're gonna jump to DTube. Okay, so DTube. So I've got some uh, kind of mixed feelings about DTube. Um, the 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 I guess you could say where the mix uh, uh, comes in is that I've actually over time racked up quite a bit of cryptocurrency on there because it runs on the uh, Steam uh, uh, blockchain. Um, it is also on a few other ones now. It's also on, um, I think it's Tron, the the tr- uh, the, the Tron um, uh, blockchain. And I think there's one other one on there. Uh, I wouldn't by any means consider myself a DTube expert. Um, uh, but I'll be honest when I say that it's not particularly creator friendly when you want to do basic things like create an account or or to upload videos like honestly the most viable like the, the easiest way to <clears throat> upload videos is to just paste in a YouTube URL and do and do an embed because they, they allow for embeds uh, you can do it with 
unfortunately only the main ones the main sort of the mainstream ones like youtube and vimeo and uh uh what's that a daily motion like some of those ones like that um but you know if you're looking for alternatives to branch out on like if you just want to try them all it is worth at least trying um and so yeah it's like i said it runs on the steam blockchain so when you when you post your videos or actually when you do anything it also mirrors all that same content on uh steamit.com it's just in a different uh a different interface um but technically all the same content is still there and uh so yeah it's it's pretty clunky but i've racked up quite a bit of cryptocurrency there and that's kind of nice i'm not sure what i'm going to use it on yet or or if I'll ever exchange it for actual cash, but there it is. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I will say yeah. I'll say this for D tube. I was turned off by the lack of interface. So like, I went yeah, there, it, checked it out when you referred me to it a while back, and I was like, I'm gonna stick with bit shoot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you, yeah, you might find that. Um, but yeah, look, if you if you just look at that uh, that one there, um, it says that I I made five dollars worth of steam, uh, on this video. So hmm. that's kind of why I haven't quite given up on it yet. <laughs> is is this like, video oh, hey, embedded that's... or uploaded? Uh, this is embedded. Yeah. The um, there's a and and that was what I was gonna say. There are a couple of options to to upload and. Um, they are really frustrating and not user friendly at all. They're very they're very difficult to understand. Like I actually spent an evening on it at one time, and and I just uh, there was there was a few different options. One of them I flat out couldn't figure out at all. The other one was so slow and cumbersome that it was just like this isn't worth it. So for whenever I do um, uh, like all tech exclusives, which basically is a YouTube exclusion, I basically upload it to, to YouTube unlisted and take that unlisted video and, and embed it over there. <laughs> that, that's how you I'm do I'm just it. not publishing Give it, it to them YouTube. unlisted and then embed it elsewhere. Yep. <laughs> yep. The way to get around so, it. They have a yep. partnership, they, apparently. Can, what's that? They have a partnership program. Yes, which you should uh, check out and tell me all about it since I know nothing about it. Yeah, well, I'm checking <laughs> it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a DTubes partnership is a dedicated program for content creators and project owners who already have an established fan base in social media. So if you're starting out new, this is not for you. Uh, partnered creators <laughs> <Get away> or... <laughs> clips. <laughs> partner content creators <laughs> must be willing to work on community building and onboard or and onboarding new users. DTube partnership program will. Give uh, qualified creators the ability to build and grow their community with delegated voting power. Partners will be able to build up and successfully port their fan bases onto DTube as both the onboard and the content creator will earn. What the fudge does that even mean? Anyone? <laughs> uh, the, I mean, there was a few things I was able to extrapolate from that. Um, basically, the more... Uh, the more powerful your account is, your upvote will actually be worth more because that's that's how you get your your Steam cryptocurrency ah, okay. through, through through the upvotes. And so, like if if for example, I up, upvoted on somebody's video, uh, that might not be worth a whole lot. It might be like you know like point oh one uh, dollars of or, or like one cent of of worth of Steam. But if the, the official DTube account upvoted you, which which was very nice of them to do to uh, quite a few of my videos, that one upvote is worth a lot more. Uh, I've seen one upvote from them that was worth, like, just that one upvote was $5. So the biggest I ever saw was one upvote from them was worth $25. Um, but that was in the earlier days when uh, this, the value of Steam was much higher. Um, so that also plays a bit of a role in it as well. Mm. And if you haven't watched this uh, Kerrigan with Red in it, you should go ahead and do that. Kill Red is uh, killing it in here. <laughs> Which um, I'm going to say, uh, I'm not sure when this video is uh, go going out, but I'm going to try and post uh, episode uh, 15 of this on Wednesday. 
D2 Shame only has up to 13. <laughs> yeah, right. 14, you're slacking on your 80 different platforms. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go back and hit Odyssey. Odyssey Libre. Yeah. Um, so I would say this is probably probably the next most viable next to BitChute. Um, and this has got... There's quite a few nice features on the, in the site already. It's got a pretty sleek interface uh, for for one. Uh, colors are actually a little bit vidme esque if you if you remember that that time. Um, but they already have HD videos right off the bat. Um, you uh, the user interface for like creation for for uploading and stuff are, is all is all quite good to use. It's it's quite user friendly. Um, and they also are working on live streaming, that they expect that to be coming down the pipeline relatively soon. Um, and they also have a very nice um, auto-importer. Like, when you first create your channel, you have the option of importing your YouTube channel, and it's going to try basically... It takes usually up to a week that it'll try to, to import as much of your YouTube channel over as possible, and then from there afterwards, it will continue to auto upload any video that you publish on YouTube as well, which is which is nice for people who are on the fence and they're not looking for, you know, a lot of management to do. Like if they don't want to manage two sites at once, they don't have to. It'll just kind of happen automatically. Um but here's uh here's one other interesting feature and I, I want to point it out because I haven't seen this anywhere else and it's such a neat idea. You don't have to have an account to upload to this. Um if like you're not signed in at all now and you can still upload uh, a video and it will just kind of go under the anonymous username. Hmm. So it's That's so it's like so. Yeah, so if if you're if there was ever like a video or anything really um that you're just like yeah, I think I'd like to make sure this video is archived. You can download it, upload to library and then the video it's safe. The hmm. the video is just on there, which is kind of nice. Um and you can just upload files if you want to upload pdfs or cad files or zip files or any kind of file you can just upload a file for it to be available for somebody else to download yeah i don't know who the zed zed gaming is but i swear they've stolen my my uh <laughs> I was gonna say, that looks a little i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks about almost the same I, I, it, and the yeah, Chromecast video is right below it, so, you know, for contrast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did do a little bit of a double take there. <laughs> you know, I didn't well, know there was know a Power Ranger show. Zeo yeah. until I once searched my thing out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> and then found out that Power Rangers Zeo was a thing. And I was like, when the hell did that oh. happen? <laughs> I've been using this name since I've been... 12 or 10 at this point <laughs> well apparently you're a power ranger apparently that would explain why people get it confused with it and i'm just like what are you talking about <laughs> hey better than my when i searched me oh oh I, apparently i review toys <laughs> <laughs> well you've got nothing over here so well Except for a lot of Chinese, so maybe I'm a Chinese pot. I mean, some Legos come up. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't escape it. <laughs> no, but uh, I do kind of like this interface. Um, over here on the side, it's got uh, you know the home interface. Uh, you know, up at the, it's got all these different things, and you start scrolling down, but you can hit the the right side over here to what you're following. Cheese. I'm not sure what cheese is, but Big hits, gaming, lab, tech, news, politics, finance, the universe, and the wild west. So those seem different the last time I was on there. I wonder if they alternate those. Maybe, but I, I like yeah, that layout because if I want to get on here and go straight to gaming, I just click the left side and boom, there nothing but gaming based stuff. Based on your preference, too. Well, I don't have oh, an account, be, yeah. so. <laughs> I've never actually been on DLive before. Yeah, actually, neither have I. Um, I've seen it like one time, and I actually saw it had quite a bit of potential. 
And yeah. I was actually like, if if for whatever reason bit shoot didn't work out, this was going to be my second. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm definitely going to make a D live here soon too. Do Do you mean Odyssey? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> Whichever one we're on, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I would definitely, I I would definitely say like for people looking to our alternatives, like it should be like bit shoot first and then Odyssey second. Like like definitely prioritize those two and. Yeah, if something if something horrible happened to Bitchute, I would probably focus on that. Um, I certainly hope that doesn't happen for plenty of reasons, but uh, I I do find that my engagement on Odyssey isn't particularly great. Maybe that's going to change in the future. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just a numbers thing right now. Like maybe there just needs to be more people that come over to it. But uh, yeah, in terms of it's. It, like its features and its potential longevity and its de and its decentralized nature for all those reasons i'd highly recommend getting onto that as well all righty then let us yeah. move on to the next one fruit lab ah uh, yes so fruit lab is um exclusively a gaming uh platform it's uh so it's it's uh really it's it's not any kind of like I guess you could say you could say like freedom of speech type of platform. It is a gaming platform. That is the focus. And what's great about uh, about this site is that um, I noticed that my my numbers and followers and everything grew actually quite quickly. Um, so if you are, you know, if you post videos, uh, uh, sorry, videos in relation to to gaming in any way, I would recommend jumping onto this platform um unfortunately it doesn't have any auto upload features but it does have one feature in particular which is um a real big incentive for people and that's the uh the points based system which they call pips uh they run ads on your videos and uh based on that ad you'll get a certain amount of pips after the videos watch and you can exchange those pips for gift cards and uh I won't disclose exactly, you know, how many I've been able to obtain, but there are several uh, games on my Nintendo Switch library and one on Steam uh, that I was able to get entirely through gift cards. So it's nice. Um, nice. Um, yeah. So it's it's a really nice platform. I like it. Yeah. So I, I gotta ask, um, mm -hmm. Zio. I noticed that you immediately went. Your cursor immediately went from. Roaming to the pole dancing Batman. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> and, and it's cyberpunk, thank you very much. And I was like, hmm, pole dancing cyberpunk. See, there it is. We'll bring it right back. It's, it's about a minute and 15 seconds long. Crazy night out some cyberpunk. You must be 18 years and... So Damn it. Okay, oh. you know, I, kind of, I actually kind of like that. That they have the age verification thing. You know... Yeah, I mean, at least somebody can't come at them and say, well, you got all this stuff for children to look at. It's like, now you yeah, got to well, sign yeah. in and age verify. Thank you very much. I mean, yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm 18 and over all my stuff just because screw you, you little... <laughs> now, this this uh, Fruit Labs gives me a Twitch look to it. Anytime I've loaded up Twitch, this is exactly what I see from Twitch. You've got the videos at the top here of, uh, you know, what they're showing off for the time being. Yeah. You've got... Yeah, it definitely does have that kind of feel. I mean, yeah. the spotlight is different. But then you come down and immediately, you know, recommended players, get involved in Fruit Lab challenges, streamers, recommended, and tabs similar to how the games would be listed and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's... um. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, and I can also say that the um, the admins who run the site are, are really uh, are really polite, and they've uh, they've featured uh, they've featured my videos on on the homepage uh, a number of times, and they like usually with the they'll uh, you'll kind of notice because you'll just like hmm, this video has a lot more views than usual, and then <laughs> usually you check the homepage, and there it is. Um, but uh, they also have a thing at the at the uh, top of the of the page. There, they have a one of the links is called Juice. That's basically like a 
built a, a built in um discord like feature that's already on the site which you can't view since you're not signed in nope uh, but, it's, <laughs> but it's almost it's almost like their own their own discord thing right on the site and you can either be in the general or you can go to a section where you promote your videos or you can you can direct message anybody um no and it's it's it... it's pretty nice the 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 owners of uh, occasionally will you know dm me and just check in and like hey how's everything going man you know no, is that Discord? Is that a Discord plugin or? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. It it okay. just functions sort of similar to to, uh, to Discord. Although you can't like open up and create your own channels. It's like one that they run. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much like live forms. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's, check that's out. pretty good. I, I might... kind of like it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's probably one of those things that definitely will also benefit you if you uh, uh, if you post fairly regularly, like every day or every every other day. Um, if you <laughs> if you post occasionally, you might find you don't quite benefit as much. But uh, I could be wrong. Maybe it could be it could be a quality over quantity type of thing that just they're just like, oh man, you know, you know. Zio finally posted, or Chad finally posted, and then they, they all jump on and give you a bunch of pips. Yeah, that, that's you can pretty much right. It's like, geez, Chad, do you ever post anything? Ah, oh, it's about time you finally post something. <laughs> oh my god, I'll post um, when I feel it. No. <laughs> you, can also, you can also donate your pips to, uh, to people that you're watching as well, which is nice. I'm oh, wait, go back to that. <laughs> yeah. I saw some. But, uh, there was yeah, also a live on Twitch down here on the bottom oh. left can't really see it too much but uh does this oh, thing yeah. have a plugin for twitch or something the way that works it's a new feature they rolled out um uh you can put like your your sort of like a, your media, social media accounts or whatever in your bio and if mm. by chance you have a twitch account and you have that in your bio when somebody goes to your channel and they're watching their videos it'll say hey this person's live on twitch right now um which is uh, which is kind of kind of neat, you know. That way you can kind of that is cool, yeah, and it's not time, exactly yeah. like the top tier of the top tier either. I just randomly clicked on one, and it's not like they have thousands upon thousands of people watching them, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, which is a lot better than if say if YouTube was doing it, because then they'd okay. only show <laughs> Ninja for everything or something <laughs> yeah they make yeah, some exactly. kind of partnership with twitch and it's like oh yeah whoever your biggest streamers are we'll just tag them right here on the corner everybody can then go see them yeah. i mean heck i just yeah, clicked no, I... on this guy and i think i'm the only one watching <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did not uh i did not feel in any way unwelcome uh being a small creator on there i i, I felt quite welcome i felt like they valued the fact that I chose their platform to upload to. Um, so yeah, in that way, total opposite approach, uh, total opposite feeling you get from uploading onto YouTube. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is something I've been kind of iffy on, is that I felt that BitChute's going to, like, I was hoping they'd not be so political or move away from politics. Mm -hmm. They kind of haven't. So I'm actually thinking I might start uploading to other platforms just as a as also. backup yeah backup and see how things go yeah yeah you you certainly could i mean my, i guess my recommendation would be certainly don't like uh like don't ditch bitch shoot because oh no no yeah cuz like you can cuz you can certainly choose not to uh you know subscribe you know subscribe to you know to the political channels and that kind of thing which is uh yeah. you know what what I'm trying to trying to do a bit you know make to ensure that you know what I'm getting on there is is the enter you know entertainment that I'm you know actually looking for but uh yeah if you if you upload gaming content at all uh I would actually say definitely upload to Fruit Lab. Don't yeah, don't even that. be unsure of, sure about it. Just go for it. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think I'm going to be making a lot of new accounts. Like I said, I, I plan to. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's definitely some nice ones there, and I, I really like the look of that one. 
All right, so the next link yeah. is... Oh, yeah, never mind. It's just YouTube. One. Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will check out the merch store. Uh, because. All right. We're oh, yeah. Shout out uh, Nathan C's Foo's... Uh, Nathan Fifu, I can't say your name, Nathan. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna check out the uh, the merch store. Go buy some merch. Chad, do you have merch? Cool, thanks, man. Do you have merch? I like this is Chad? why I raised my middle finger, but yes, I do. <laughs> oh, well, how do I find your merch store again? Is it on on your bit shoot? It's on every video. <laughs> well, I don't really look at the descriptions that often. <laughs> Oh, let me D, go to my subscriptions. D, D, D and go dot chad slash merch. <laughs> That's right. You no, do I have merch. That, I just forgot. I wish there was that up front. No, it's uh, Redbubble. Oh, yeah. How, how are they? Uh, I love them. Yeah. Uh, they're actually, I was on Teespring, but Teespring mm -hmm. was like uh, really slow. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of noticing that. <laughs> Uh, sorry, not that I'm on Teespring, but I'm noticing that with uh, the merch store that I've got. Yeah. You just, yeah, you just clicked on one of the items. It's actually a bunch of items with that design. You scroll up, you can click on. Oh, like, I see. Uh, so it's like, it's like the design, and then all the types of merchandise that it's attached to. Yeah. Uh, hit oh, back wait. a couple times. You just went Whoops. to the. Yeah. All right. No, it, it's kind of weird the way they do it because if you go back to my uh, hit back one more time. Okay, so I uh, go to um. Man, it's been so long since I've been on my own store. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, D-Pad uh, Chad cannot products. do his own no, store. No, no, go back, go back one more. Uh, just below that, where it says "Shop All Products." Yeah, that's yeah. what I clicked on. Oh, <laughs> you told me to go back. <laughs> my bad. Ah, uh, oh, there you go. You got that design on oh, multiple yeah, there you things. Go. So uh, go check out Chad's shop too. It would be yeah, somewhere. Yeah, that was the logo I was using for like when me and my wife do a video. Oh, okay. Get a snag -a -a. Bone case. And then uh, I actually put one of her uh, pieces of art on a uh, on. Uh, I put one of her pictures on there as well. The blue wolf. Uh, I need to put more of her art on there, but that was that, one of them. That's something that she that she that she illustrated. Yeah, she, cool. she's an artist. She's done a lot of art. Yeah, that's really cool. Laptop skin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That this place is actually pretty cool. All right, now that we've looked at everybody's store, except for mine because I don't have one. One day, <laughs> one day. When we get closer to dominating the world, we'll have a merch store. I gotta get my Zeo mug for when I drink my coffee. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's see. DLive. That's the next link. Yes. Let's check out DLive. The streamer is currently offline. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. I used to differ. I sort of am, if you're watching this video. <laughs> oh. I mean, technically, if you're watching this video, he might actually be live right now. So uh, go check him out over on DLive. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, um, so I, I, about a couple weeks ago, I may have told you a slightly different experience with this, uh, with this site, but I have a slightly, um, slightly better take on it now um for the longest time i actually really didn't have the greatest engagement on this it's uh there's really nothing particular special about it it's just a twitch alternative basically um they even had a they had a whole crypto thing going on for a while with lino coins uh they're there's they do still do that but it's not as good as when it first launched um in terms of the rewards um and for the longest time, I did not have the greatest engagement. Like, it, I, like it could be, you know, set, months worth of streaming, and I only get a handful of visitors. But actually, the last time I streamed, it was almost exclusively people showing up in the live. Like, there was nobody showing up on Twitch. There was nobody showing up on, on the YouTube stream. It was 
it was exclusively D Live, and I was like, hmm, this this changed, and I like it. So, yeah, it uh, seems to be set up similar to Twitch too, but mm-hmm. not as good as the other one. Yeah, we do, I, I've got to actually hit a button to get to a list of everything. Yeah. And I think in terms of not having a lot of engagement, you said you had this, this pretty much the same experience, didn't you, Chad? I did. Um, but I'll be honest with you. Uh, when I streamed a, pretty much anything, it's been... Well, I like talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they've got a section just for me here. I can stream gaming news and there then cut go. it up for nice. everything else. Dominate nice. this space. Look at this. There's like only five people in here. I got this. There you go. <laughs> oh, you could get in there. Get in there. That's right. I can get in there and, and make it into something. Then they'll have to rename it Gaming News just for me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll say this. I did have some positive experiences. Uh, the uh, thing I did like is the interface and how they did the uh, donations with the uh, ninjets and ninja guineas and yeah yeah those that are cool. <laughs> I thought was charming like yeah like I know that with Twitch they got the bits which I think is kind of I don't know it felt sterile yeah yeah it's just you know, just just bits there's nothing oh hey look phasmophobia. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that, but I'm oh, yeah, curious we to know what there. Girlfriend Rescue is now. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> uh, wait, is the somebody end. just... Uh-oh. Is somebody just stre- streaming a movie? Wait, is that, that just a show <laughs> being streamed? That's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoops. Which, Back up. For the record, Pretend we, abort, abort. we didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. For, for the record, I do know that streaming... Co- explicitly copywritten content is against terms of service, so don't go on there to stream TV shows. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Girlfriend yeah. Rescue with your twelve that, that'll, viewers. That'll get you in trouble real quick. I just, oh, yeah. and I don't know if that's what they were doing. That it could have just been end credits for a game that really looked like the end credits of a movie. Well, could be. They have an S well, or an ASMR fair, I have, category. I have seen some dating sims like that. That had in credits like that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's another kind of cool thing. You can have you can have uh, um, animated thingies in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, saw that, like gifs and stuff. Yeah, that's that is a cool feature. That is. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, if if it was. Like, if I had to choose between getting a lot of engagement on Twitch and getting a lot of engagement on DLive, I personally would choose DLive. Yeah, well, there's I'm... lots of room for people, so uh, get on the ground floor now. Yeah, I went from DLive to Twitch solely for the fact that I was like, I'm not getting any engagement on DLive, I'm not getting any engagement on Twitch. Let me try Twitch again, see if I get anything there. Haven't really yeah. did, haven't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Strangely You're telling enough, me nobody's I... watching Cyberpunk right now. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because it doesn't work. <clears throat> Could yeah, be. Was playing it Especially either. for streaming. <laughs> Strangely enough, I mean, uh, with the exception of the last stream that I did, I found that the most stream engagement I got was actually on YouTube. Um, certainly not my preference, but that was kind of the way it was working out. But uh, I've actually hopefully... heard that YouTube gaming's kind of dominating the space. Yeah, that's streaming. interesting. It's it's interesting that that's what it's turned out to be. Um, I hope that what happened in the last stream is a trend that that will continue because I enjoyed that. I enjoyed, you know, streaming, get lots of comments outside of outside of YouTube and Twitch. So this is who all you're replying to when I'm in your stream. Let's see how it is. All these different people over here on D Live. I'm like, what yeah. are you talking about? What is, Co- Cobalt what is the conversation? The <laughs> yeah. Um, so, from my understanding, as far as streaming goes, uh, sadly, it's Facebook gaming and YouTube gaming. 
Well, right Seem now they the they have the market share. Yeah. If BitChute yeah. gets gaming or streaming, how much you want to make a bet? They make a hard charge towards it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.